Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look with the Alyssa Edwards palette. When I saw that Anastasia and Alyssa Edwards were making a palette together, I was like, oh my god, this is this is bomb, okay? So I haven't played with it yet and I really just wanted to like do a video filming it because I feel like that's kind of like the best way for me to really like share how I'm feeling with you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. So my PR package has arrived and <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, no, but anyway, can we just get this props for the packaging? I'm so annoying, but literally seeing the foam and everything like that, like chef's kiss. This is the palette right here in all her glory. Like, all right, this is as accurate as I think I can get the color to look, but this is what the package looks like. And then here is the back. I wanted to show you guys what the back says because I don't know, like I feel like I never look at this stuff, like what it says up here and then what's being written right here but I thought it was a really cute little message and you can just pause it and read it real quick so here are the shades on the first row right here we've got you know headliner which is really 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 sheer of a white I'm not a big fan of it to be honest like I thought it was gonna be a really packed white but it's not this shade though on the other hand inspire oh yeah I'm living for this living um this shade right here unicorn trap i'm not like in love with it but i think it's a nice color especially with that gold i think that's a cool look i absolutely love brick road like it's just so cute i don't know why but it reminded me of pollen <laughs> but pollen doesn't look like this but that's what it kind of reminded me of but i really really love this shade then we had you know texas made which looks so good um the shadows here are a little crumbly but that's kind of normal with Anastasia's shadows but it's absolutely beautiful like I don't care <laughs> crumble all you want the, the pigments there it looks good this shade you this is dream it and dream it is my dream come true to be honest I love this shade it's so vibrant it's not even funny then back rolls which I had a little bit of a trouble a little bit just a little trouble kind of putting this on like when I went to smooth it out I didn't really want to do it so I don't know what that means but I really like the shade and I think it's a nice everyday brown that you can kind of play with and then we have this shade the supreme right here it kind of reminds me of like an apricot maybe maybe that's the color I'm looking for I don't know but I like that shade a lot I think it's pretty and I am layering these this isn't like a rub and swipe kind of thing I do build them up because I want to see you know how buildable are they like how good do they look you know and kind of stuff like that I mean you could take this with a grain of salt if you don't believe in swatches that's fine I don't care but I like to see them just to see what they look like then we have Ho which is House of Edwards but I'm gonna call it Ho because I like calling it Ho um I actually really love this shade like this is a really good everyday shade like perfect this shade right here, DDG, I don't know what that stands for. I'll have to look it up. This one I wasn't very impressed with, actually. Like, I had to layer it a bit, and I don't know. It just felt kind of dry, maybe. Like, not really, but, like, it just, I don't know. Like, she not impressing me at all. And then BBDC, which I think is Beyond Belief Dance Company, um, which is this dance company hands. Um, this one's really pretty. Um, it's slightly just slightly patchy when it was going on then we have beyond which is the hot pink right here well it's not hot pink but it's a pretty pink Oof. then we have believe which is that bright purple right here uh, see what i mean see how it's slightly like a little patchy but then again, like, you're not really supposed to apply this with your fingers. But I like that shade. That's a nice shade. And then the last one we have is Beast. I like how it's not super pigmented black to where you're not going to be able to blend it out. You're not going to be able to really build it. It's just going to be like, pow, in your face. I don't like that. I like a good black that's like this, where it's kind of buildable. Kind of soften it out. Just a little bit, you know? So for me, I kind of actually came up with a little face chart um, of a look I might want to do, and I'm just going to give it a try. 
we'll see how the colors go and if it looks horrible then we'll just do something else on the other eye <laughs> came out with um a eye primer base that was really really light i didn't buy that but honestly i'm just gonna go with my ColourPop fair zero concealer which is basically just white and put that on my eye because I want the colors to pop and they're going to pop the best on white. So that's why. But I'm so excited to do this look. I think it's going to be different. We'll see how well it goes. Okay, so the first shade I wanted to go in with was Brick Road. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack it right here. on the outer portion. Actually, let me use the other side. I'm going to use a shader brush to really pack on that color. And then I'm going to use the other side of this brush, which is like a small blending brush, and start to feather it out. So I'm going to bring the yellow up really high into my like crease over here because my idea was to like do like a cut crease kind of thing and I really really want to see like this color. I don't want to lose it when I go to cut everything you know. Now I'm going to go in with Texas Maine out here. Pack it. And then I'm just going to mix the two shades so I can blend them together. I want there to be a really pretty fade. Like that's kind of what I was going for in my mind. Look at that shade it made. Actually, it looks a lot like the Supreme, which is very interesting. I'm going to go back in with Texas made. Pack that out here. I think the key here is no matter what, when you're using pigments, which I think these two are pigments, I can't remember, um, is you're going to have to pack them first. You always pack and then blend, pack and blend. I am loving this shade right here. This is so cute. Okay. But I don't want to lose the yellow or the pink too much, but I do love the shade that it's making. I'm just going to flick this out. <laughs> kind of digging how that looks, though. I'm lightly adding just a little bit of what's left on my brush of that pink because then it's making this go from like yellow to pinky to pink like a darker pink it's like kind of going more orange which is what I wanted okay so I kind of want to go ahead and clean it up first let's do this first let's see how that works okay let me try the elf camo concealer to kind of clean up It's not the most perfect cut, but don't judge me, okay? I'm trying my best here. Now I'm going to try um, Dream It, the blue shade. I want to mix the two and see what color it makes. It's a pretty purple, but I think... Let me try Believe real quick. Oh yeah, I like Believe better. Okay, we're going to go in with Believe right here, just a tidbit. I'm actually going to go back in with Texas. Right now I'm going to go in with Dream It this time. I really like the way that the purple and the blue blend. It makes this really pretty, deeper blue. It's very vibrant and pretty. I'm just going to bring this down. Then I'm just going in with a little bit more purple right here. So the fade is a little more prominent. And then just add more Dream It right here. And then I'm going to go in with Dream It on this smudger brush. I'm going to put this underneath my eye. How's this look so far? Mm. What do you think? Dang, that's cool. Is it cool? Uh-huh. Okay. It's really cold. I love it. 
Okay, so I kind of have an idea. I want to make green. And I think I'm going to go brick road on the outer portion. Okay, we're getting a little green. Just a little. You see that? Okay, so I just kind of built up a uh, dream it and everything. And now I'm just going to go in and put this white shadow on my lid. Probably use my finger. Okay, so I had a little bit of an issue. So the white shadow I am not a fan of. It's way too sheer it doesn't do anything to be honest so I ended up having to take remover and get rid of that concealer on my eye because the elf was so dry it was making my like lid look prehistorically old and um I put the ColourPop uh white concealer over it to get this white base um the only thing I hate is that when I set this base it's not as vibrant as it was but I just went and cleaned up the wings just a little bit and brought it a little bit in my tear duct. And then I tried putting Aspire, Inspire, not Aspire, Inspire on my inner corner. But I feel like it didn't really do anything. So I'm going to go in with a white eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with Brick Road right here. I hope my white looks consistent because... It's like, for some reason, kind of bluish, and then the rest doesn't look like that. I don't know what to do about that, so. I'm just going to go in lightly with this blue, and hopefully make a green. Okay, yeah, I like the green. I don't think I'm going to get it to be like a lime green, maybe because the blue is so dark, but... I feel like this is a good happy medium for me. Um, it's an interesting green though. It's kind of like a pukey green, but I like it. I think it'd be a pretty color, honestly. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for that eye. <laughs> so I can do it on the other eye. So I'll be back in a little bit. Hopefully they come out looking like semi-symmetrical, cause that would be a win. Okay, we're back. And you know it's really funny? I finished this one so much faster. Probably because you know how like you get an idea of what you want to do and then you replicate it and it's like a little bit easier. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think it's kind of cool. I really like it. I love the colors in this palette. They are so freaking gorgeous. Now all I did was I went back in um to this side right here because I think that elf concealer was kind of already underneath that eyeshadow and I couldn't really fix it. It kind of messed up the purple that was right here whereas on this side this looks way more blended and nicer so I know that's the concealer's fault and not the eyeshadows. So I'm going to try a product out that I just bought today and it's the Juvia's I Am Magic Foundation. Um, I bought the shade Cebu. I thought it'd be kind of fun to try. Ooh, this was a good match. Okay. I thought this would be kind of fun to try out since I've already done such a dramatic look. I need a full coverage foundation to go with it. Okay, that color literally matches me so well. It's insane, actually. <laughs> I've never had that good of a match before without having to mix my own. Love that. Love that. Okay. And another thing I bought today was the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Bronzed. And I want to give this a try today too. You know, I was mad that this bronzer was $30, but like, oh shit, it looks good. Oh, Y'all see this? Y'all see that, right? Oh my god, this is all coming together so well. I should have gone to the gym in Chipotle in this. How about we go with Omrezy? Because Omrezy is pretty. Okay, and I literally just took, like, the tiniest bit of highlighter that was left in this uh, Juvia's Highlighting um, Loose Powder in Clio just to wash on top because I put a little bit and it gives me a bit of a gray cast for the Omrezy, so that's why I go in with this, just kind of lighten it up and get a big seat, you know? Okay, love, 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 love. Let's go in with Alamar. Maybe Isla, or maybe all three. Let's just go in with all three. I think we're going to have to pull out the big lashes. Okay, so this is what we came up with. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. I don't know how to feel right now. Okay, so all I did was um for my lip, I went in with the Becca um, Ultimate Lipstick Love in Dune, which is like beautiful. And then I just took you know my greasy hair and put some uh, clips in them to make it look cute. And <laughs> this is it. This is it. And oh my god, I'm literally in love. Like literally in love. Look at the vibrancy. Like, I really hope my camera is picking up how vibrant this shit is. Like, it looks so good. I literally can't right now. I'm obsessed with this orange we got going. Like, can we just take a minute to... Oh, okay. I'm so annoying. Like, it's not even I'm trying to gas myself up and make myself look like, oh my god, I did such a great job. It's just like, I'm literally living for this look so much. This is literally the most fun I've had with makeup in such a long time and I love it. I just love the way it all came out. Like Alyssa, you did that. You did that. I love the way everything blended out. The pigments did wonderful and since there are pigments, you know, you gotta keep in mind that some of them are gonna stay in your eyes. Like that's just the way it is, you know, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, so maybe the next day don't go to work with a bare face. Make sure you put like some concealer on to help cover it up, you know? I'm literally obsessed with everything that's on my face right now. Like, <laughs> I can't. Like that foundation, that bronzer, I'm shook. Like, it's so good. So I hope I made a look that was like, you know, different, refreshing enough for you guys because I know there are a lot of videos out there already and the looks are just absolutely stunning. Like, oh! <gasps> Okay, I literally cannot wait to take pictures of this look and post it. Like, I am so freaking excited. Um, if you do want to, you can find me on Instagram at vivs.makeup. I'll put it in the description box down below if you want to, you know, have it for future references or something. I don't know. <laughs> and, you know, see my page or whatever. But I'm really excited. I'm going to be posting pictures of this and everything. So I am so freaking excited. I literally am feeling myself right now. Like, <laughs> I don't have that big old fan. So we just going to pretend this is it. <laughs> Got my PR package right here. <laughs> I literally can't take myself serious. I hope you enjoyed my video, um, I had a lot of fun making this video even though I had the worst camera difficulties of my life, but it's okay because we, we came through. So thank you so much for staying and watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you laughed or not, that's okay, maybe I'm not your cup of tea, maybe I'm not your humor, that's fine, and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye!